stop doing this if you want to get a H1 and leave them to our chemistry. First mistake that some students tend to make is that they don't give enough practice to the mole calculation. Central to the maths and chemistry is the mole. Using a simplified mole conversion map will help you to understand why you're changing from volume to atoms to grams to moles. So instead of trying to memorize these equations, the first thing you do when you open your exam is you're going to write out your conversion map. Another mistake as well involved in the calculations is students don't show their work. The majority of the marks go for actually just doing the correct steps, including the correct unit at the end of your answer. My second tip is all about timing. The chemistry exam is a three hour exam. You have eight questions to complete out of the total 11. It's vital that you practice the timing of your questions. By giving yourself 20 minutes per question, it allows you to have five minutes at the start of your exam to read over it, highlight the questions that you think you're going to attempt. And it also gives you those crucial 10 minutes at the end of your exam to go back over calculations and to fix any errors. Lastly, the biggest mistake that chemistry students make is they avoid organic chemistry. This should be the number one most important topic when you're studying. The eight questions that you choose on your paper to answer, three of which can be on organic chemistry alone. This is nearly half of your exam covered by this one unit. Try to simplify the homology series and all of the properties. Put everything into one summary sheet and understand the differences, the endings of their names, the functional groups, and also about their solubility and boiling points.